right now on Punchline. Two teams of comedians use today's headlines to come up with the best punchlines. Starring Melissa Peterman. With our guests, Nicole Sullivan. Hal Sparks. Charles McBee. And Kelsey Cook. And now here's your host, Melissa Peterman. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Punchline. How do we play this game? We can't tell you. So we're going to show you. I'm going to give these two teams a headline, and they are going to come up with the punchlines. Then you, the audience, decides which team is funnier. OK? Very simple. You can even take off your thinking cap for this one. It's very easy. And the winning team at the end of the show gets $1,000 for the Donors Choose Classroom of their choice. Yeah! Let's get started. Well, hello. It is ladies' night yeah, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole Sullivan and Kelsey Cook. This We're is taken, a... guys. We're taken. <laughs> oh, my you God. guys, oh. don't fall in love with them, okay? They're taken. Oh. And We're don't taken. fall in love with me. I'm taken, too. <laughs> You went to your sexy voice and you said I tried to go sexy, <laughs> but it sort of sounded it's like I was, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, don't worry, I'm taking two. Yeah, right. Uh, um, like a so, cat. Nicole, I don't know. You've been, we've been married a long time. Yes. Like, I've been married 20 years. Um, I was a. <laughs> I'm not going to clap. To the same person. Yeah. And you've been married how many years? Uh, 13. 13 yeah. years. <laughs> Very good. Kelsey, you just got married two weeks ago. Yes, so, <laughs> truly, if I had to give you advice, I would say, does he make you laugh? Yeah. Then there you're good. Yeah, you're yeah. golden. You're He's golden. He's a comedian. Sure. Then you're golden. Yeah. OK, remember, each headline is worth 10 points. And here is your first one. EliteDaily.com just made a list of 54 genius products you can buy from a fast freeze plate to make ice cream to lazy no-tie shoelaces. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I want both of those. <laughs> Comedians, what is your genius product idea? I, uh, I, would, like, I would like them to make a Peloton bed okay. uh, so uh, I can work out while I sleep. Yes. Um, and I would like it to have an option for an R-rated dream. Uh, oh, well done. <laughs> 13 years of marriage, you know what yeah. to do. Yeah. All right, Kelsey, what is your genius product idea? OK, so you put sensors in grocery carts. Uh -huh. So when a lazy idiot decides to leave it in an open parking spot, <laughs> instead of returning it, uh -oh. the handle shocks them. Yes! And then a speaker shouts their social security number. <laughs> genius! I hate that guy. Oh. There's a whole world around you. It's not just you. Oh. OK, all right, I'm walking over to the fellas. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Give it up. We're taken, guys. That's We're right. taken. They're taken, right. America. Right. They're taken. Don't fall in love with them. They're taken. Mm, well. Um, so Hal and Charles, yes. what yes. is it like? So it's, uh, you know, it's guys against girls tonight. How do you feel about that? Oh, uh, it's more like blondes against brunettes, kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is some, no, and the last time here. this happened in 1930. Um, <laughs> yes, go on. Blondes and never mind. Okay, oh, I got it, I got it, got it, got it. Okay, else. all right. Um, so, uh, who do you guys do? You, do you have? Do you want to wager anything? You know, make it more interesting. Just no, beyond? no? I don't believe in gambling. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, all right. That's why I didn't marry anyone. <laughs> oh! Uh, wow! So much of a 
a gamble. Ooh. Wow. All right, here, well, here we Imagine go. Imagine pulling the same lever for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. It works. It works. Believe right, me. I'm not kidding. No, don't I'm, worry about it. I'm sure. I'm, look at He's single, America. He's no, right I'm there. in a long term relationship. I'm happy. Okay, here we go. Um, Are you ready to tell me about your genius product idea? Yeah, sure. Okay, so. Um, Hal, what is your genius, genius product, product idea? idea? Yes. Uh, my, my, um, I believe there should be a, an all-you-should-eat buffet. Um, and, uh, like, it's a regular buffet, right? but with a lifeguard. that just like, yeah, you're done. Sit. You're, no, no. Drop this. That's put so it down. good! Put it down. Walk away. You know? What you should eat yeah, buffet. Right. Yeah, right. That's not right. keto-friendly. No, that's right. I like that. All right, all right. What is your genius? Genius product idea, Charles. All right, I am going to invent an app that prevents you from accidentally liking your ex's photo on IG <laughs> at four in the morning. Oh, right. That's a good one. Ooh, That's a good one. Ah! Sometimes it's you yeah. slip. Yeah. You yeah. slip. It's slip. All right, Kelsey and Nicole. Final punchline. What is your genius product idea? I, I personally yeah. want a hoverboard built just for moms where it just it's it only goes about 25 feet above yeah. above your house where where you can't hear your children. <laughs> you, you just can't hear them. I don't Oh what? I don't, I don't know what they're Mom! I can't hear them. They don't exist. I don't know. Mine exist. might need to go like 30 feet because I have a very, very loud child. Yeah. <laughs> just take, but a, I little, love that take idea. a little nap up there. Take a little nap up there. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, what is your final punchline? We're we're gonna go with a uh, a wearable porta potty potty for Coachella called the Cab and you just yeah. walk around. Walk around. So you don't have to worry about yeah. the with you. The All right, audience, who was funnier? Was it the gentleman or was it the or ladies? Was it indicating your children's Come names. On. <laughs> Guys versus girls. I was... Who took it home? Oh, guess what? Kelsey and Nicole, ten Woo! points. Oh. I guess, I guess negating your child's needs are funnier than uh, No, it's hilarious. Care of... It is hilarious ignoring your children. Oh, it really is. <laughs> it's hilarious. And now I, we know why the world is full of monsters. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, uh, Hal and Charles, you guys ready for your next punchline? Sure, next? why not? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go to our second headline. Yeah. Here it is. Aww. Aww. You didn't tell him, like, no, the picture don't awe. They can be very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, even want to get started on my fear. Oh, OK, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Researchers from Duke University have discovered that monkeys become more sociable after watching movies. Don't they have other things to research? <laughs> Comedians, Ow. what is the monkey's favorite movie? Oh. Pal. Anything without Charlton Heston. Yes. <laughs> Damn dirty ape. That's. Do you like? Are you afraid of monkeys? Oh yeah. I'm well, they, they will, of I mean, them. They, like. They don't want to wear human uh, clothes. When you were a kid. You. They were, don't want to wear human clothes. They, they go they after not. your face, your fingers, and, and your, your genitals. genitals. That's yes, what's that's happened. Right. They do. And your I love face, that perspective. Your fingers and your nature. genitals. Yeah, Those right. are not. Three things I oh, want. Oh yeah, you have to have a shock pole. Yeah. They're smarter and, than we are. Yeah. They can almost drive a stick shift. That's right. Some of them, some of them smoke cigars I and know, do movies I know. Here and we look go. like George Burns. That's true. <laughs> All right, I need to go on. Charles, yes. what is the monkey's favorite right. movie? Monkey's favorite movie. Uh, I'm gonna go with doing it monkey style. Oh. I swear I thought it was a documentary. I swear. <laughs> I thought. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know. A little a little clingy. A little clingy. A little clingy for me. Nicole, what is the monkey's favorite movie? The first half of King Kong. <laughs> the first half that he... Oh, man, stop. Because... Yeah. He, yes. yeah, he likes it when he gets the girl. And, and by gets the girl, I mean takes her hostage. Yes. <laughs> but the second half, not no, so much. No, he doesn't like that movie. Not so much, not so much. All right, Kelsey, what is the monkey's favorite movie? Um, I would assume Kill Bill because Uma Thurman is dressed like a banana. Boom. A very, very beautiful banana. Beautiful banana. Beautiful banana. A beautiful banana. All right. <laughs> Hal and Charles, uh, final punchline. What is the monkey's favorite movie? In, uh, in all honesty, I think it's uh, clearly Face Off because they will take your face <laughs> oh, yeah. off. Oh. They will. They will. They will. All right, Kelsey and Nicole, final punchline. What is the monkey's favorite movie? 
Um, we're gonna go with beaches because everybody loves it's a beaches. Yeah, it's a great movie. Oh my god. It's a great movie. Oh it's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. Audience, who was funnier? Was it our gentleman right over here? Really? Or was it really? the women? Beaches. Beaches? That's what is it? It's beaches. Audience, you're telling me what you think. Guess what? Yeah. Kelsey and Nicole! Oh. Take that means we've got 20 points for our lovely ladies and zero oh. points for our gentlemen. But when we come back, anything could happen, so don't you go anywhere. Grudge match coin. The ladies are in the lead with 20 points. Yeah! And it really does hurt my heart to say this. The boys have zero. Mm -hmm. oh. I know, it's okay. All right. But you know what? Here at Punchline, we love to laugh and we also love teachers. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because without teachers, there is no way I could be reading this teleprompter. <laughs> I love all my teachers. And we really love DonorsChoose.org, and that is a website that lets people donate to a teacher's wish list. It's such a great place. Check it out. And Kelsey and Nicole, if you guys win, what classroom are you donating to? We're donating to Mr. Callis's class okay. in Charleston, Massachusetts, Woo! for DJ and sound equipment. <laughs> he sounds like a very what? cool teacher. I, who doesn't want what? Mr. Callis? Who doesn't want yeah. Mr. Callis? He's getting a DJ in yeah, a sound system. Sound, yeah. The best. Mr. Yeah. Callis rocks. All right. Um, <laughs> what? So, Hal and Charles, if you guys win, what classroom are you guys donating to? <laughs> um, we're, well, obviously, we don't have a, a Vegas nightclub class <laughs> that they're <laughs> teaching. We're doing it for Mrs. May's class in Wichita, Kansas. We're hey, gonna Mrs. get them. May? Some, we're gonna get them some classroom equipment, like chairs <laughs> and books. Okay, you know what? You know, fun stuff. It's, you know. It's but just as important, okay? Just as important. All right, comedians, are you ready? Yes. You guys ready for this? Here yes, is your next headline. Newlywed Chris Pratt is under fire for wearing a controversial oh, T-shirt. Oh, for God's sake. He should just not wear a shirt. That's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah. That's the controversy. <laughs> comedians, what did Chris Pratt's T-shirt say? Oh, uh, Team Thanos. Because it was his fault. It was his fault. If he could have just waited for the glove to come off, just, I know you want to punch him, but hang out. Like two Dude. seconds, two seconds. What the? All right. I'm, I'm done. I can't even. I, don't even get me started. Don't get him started, you guys. He's been going on the Thanos thing like all day. Like The and, only thing worse he could have had written on his shirt was Jurassic World is a good movie, because that's horrifying. That is horrifying. Oh, my God. I Go know this away. is very sensitive Are for you, Are you kidding Hal? me? Are I know. you kidding it's, me? It really puts him in a tailspin. Um, Charles. Other than that, yes. I have no opinion. What did? <laughs> What did Chris Pratt's t-shirt say? I think, if I remember correctly, I think it said, what's the big deal? Robert Pattinson's gonna make a great Batman. Oh, I yeah. That's right. I, think that's, I think that's what it said. Okay. I think All right, I'm gonna walk away from there. This has really touched a, touched a soft spot for these yeah. guys. All right, Nicole, we what- We care, did, okay? We like the comic book movies. I like that. Nicole, what did Chris Pratt's t-shirt say? I was funnier when I was fatter. All right, Kelsey, what did Chris Pratt's t-shirt say? I hate Groot. <laughs> Poor Groot. <laughs> Poor Groot. Okay. I'm afraid to ask, because I know it's sensitive. Which technically but... speaking, in Groot would be I am Groot. Right. So how would you know unless you speak Groot? <laughs> Final punchline, guys. What did Chris Pratt's t-shirt say? <laughs> My wife had sex with RDJ, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies, what did Chris Pratt's t-shirt say? Final punchline. Um, my dad-in-law can terminate your dad-in-law. Oh. Boom! <laughs> okay, audience! Didn't fat Who was him. funnier? Do we have the, was it the boys, Hal and Charles, or was it the ladies? Team Maroon. Come on, team. Oh. Me, uh, 
Oh, I see. Now we're getting an idea what this audience Oh, they're voting. All right. All right. Oh, Kelsey oh. and Nicole took it. The ladies are on a hot streak. They've got 30 points and zero points. When we come back, we're going to see if these four fellas can finally get on the board. Don't go anywhere. give a headline and each team has 30 seconds to come up with punchlines. When time is up, the audience scores on a scale of 1 to 100. Yeah. 100 is in the air, all right? Get, Kyle get, and Charles, you... We have to technically get something. You have to get something. All right, you guys are behind, so you're going to start, okay? Right. Here is your headline. At 101 years old, Hurricane Julia Hawkins set a record running the 100-meter dash. Now at age 103, Ms. Hawkins, oh, she went back to her single life, Ms. Hawkins <laughs> yeah. will compete again at the National Senior Game. That kind of fame will ruin any relationship. It will. Yeah. Comedians, what other competitions are held at the National Senior Games? <laughs> Carl, put 30 seconds on the clock and go. Uh, the 50 meter, why did I come in here? <laughs> Uh, 100 meter, more like one meter dash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the fall and get up. Uh, <laughs> I can do it! <laughs> um, planking, but are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just rigor mortis, actually. Um, the decatheter it on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the throwing of the slip disc. Oh. All right, time is up planking. Yeah. <laughs> but are they really? Are yeah, they right. Oh, we thought he was Nana. napping. That was a horrible Easter. <laughs> All right, audience, what do you think? One to 100? They did great. What are you going to give them? They gave you 70. You're on the board. All right, we're on there. We're on All right, there. ladies, gonna... it is your turn. Carl, 30 seconds on the clock, mm. please. And go. Uh, synchronized snoring. <laughs> yes. Um, who can forget the fastest? Where am I? You win! <laughs> uh, parallel bars over the toilet. Yes. Yes. When, when they stick it, though, when they stick it, it's... It's really nice. It's really nice. It's important. Um, important. Osteoporosis limbo, where your back is so hunched, you just walk forward under the, <laughs> under the bar. Uh, um, uh, a beer bong chugging, but with prune juice. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's she, she just walking under a stick. Just walking. All right, audience, what'd you give him? They gave you 70. Yeah. Okay, which right. means the score is 100 to 70. The boys are finally in it. Coming up next to this photo finish, round. one of these teams is going to win when we come back. Photo finish. We have a series of photos we will show you, and our fabulous comedians will come up with the punchlines. And you, our audience, will score each team's punchlines on a scale from 1 to 100. Yeah. And the team with the most total points wins everything. Yeah. All of it. Well, I would like to say, I'd like to say none of us win anything. You know who's who wins is who the, does teachers. Win? the teachers. One of the teachers. <laughs> For the teachers and, and the and children. And hopefully, it's a, a woman who needs uh, classroom materials, Miss Mays in Wichita, okay. Kansas, and not some uh, drug snorting maniac who okay. wants to teach his kids how to. There we go. All right, here we go. EDM. We got 45 seconds on the clock. Here we go. I'm, I'm personally disgusted. Hell, you better get focused. Here is your first photo, and go. Uh, the good news is, he never was able to get anyone in the van. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
All right. Um, <laughs> when you first see the interest rates on your student loans. <laughs> Audience, how'd they do? What? What? 80 points. Next photo. Right. Next one. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh. In the future, we'll all have joint problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the millennial tin man. <laughs> Audience, Oil <laughs> tin. Yeah. 70. Next, next photo. Next one. Here we go, hurry up. Oh, uh, oh. Y Yohimbe Nyong'o, the only uh, hockey player, uh, soccer player and faith healer, fails miserably at curing ED at the World Championships. OK, that was long, but was worth good. it. Yeah. Oh, time's oh. up. Oh. We got to get fast. Audience, My bad. get for oh. that. 60, OK, let's see what that brings you up to, boys. Let's see. 280 points. We're going to get slaughtered. Oh, you are in the lead for now. All right, ladies. Your first photo. Uh, Go. Uh, yeah. If you want to get to a thousand likes, you better mean it. <laughs> um, when you stalk your ex on Facebook to see if his new girlfriend's hotter than you. <laughs> Audience, what do you think? One to a hundred. What they do? Seventy points. Next photo. <laughs> I said this ramen is hot. <laughs> Uh, when, when Joanne Fabrics has a sale on wigs. <laughs> Audience, how'd they do? 80, next photo. I would like my phone to be the exact size as my sunglasses. Yeah, extra large. Uh, Boost Mobile's new telephone. Oh. Time's up, how'd they do? Yeah. 70 points, okay, does that bring you enough? Let's see if it does. Yep. Does it make, take the ladies to the home run?